in one year we had two young men come to our retreat who both had psoriasis or eczema, it's like a skin disease. One of them came from Saudi Arabia. He had had eczema, psoriasis since he was 20 and he discovered he now had cortisone induced psoriasis. He initially took the cortisone to bring relief and it certainly does bring relief but the relief is not lasting. See it does not cure, it just brings initial relief. relief. But all it does is push it back into the body. He went on a website called Cortisone Induced Eczema. There was a doctor residing over this and the doctor said, you've just got to stop the eczema. You've just got to stop the cortisone. He said, you may go through living hell for a few weeks because the body's used to the cortisone, it does ease it. But the day has to come when you stop because it's not curing and it just pushes it deeper into the body. If you have to live in an, a bath with oatmeal on it, put ice on the skin whenever it gets terribly inflamed, but you've just got to bite the bullet, so to speak, and go through it. He'd already been through the worst, this young man. We'll call him Tom from Saudi Arabia. He worked on the oil rigs there. He came with his wife. His eczema had settled down to a few little patches, a few little red patches in between his arms. The back of his neck looked like crocodile skin. It was, the skin was really tough there. As we went through the health assessment with him, we discovered that he had all the symptoms of a gluten intolerance, which was bloating whenever he ate bread, but he ate quite a bit of bread. I said to him, I think this is one of the contributing factors. We also discovered that they lived in a big housing estate in Saudi Arabia. They've built huge housing estates to house the workers on the oil rigs. It is so hot there that all the houses have air conditioning. But some of the air conditioning is not working well and one of their neighbours said she found a lot of mould in their roof. And in Tom's house, his wife said the filter on the air conditioner, sometimes she changes every few hours and the filter's supposed to start, it's supposed to last a few months. So we saw a, there was a possible mold factor there as well. As he went through the week, he certainly enjoyed the steam saunas, especially diving into the cool creek, which settled his skin down. He tried a bit of coconut oil on his skin, sometimes aloe vera. Anything you put on the skin won't last too long because it's systemic, it's an internal problem. He stopped the five allergens, no refined sugar, no dairy, no peanuts, no oats, no wheat. We don't serve any of those at our retreat. At the end of two weeks, they sat in front of me and he said, there is not much improvement. We're a little disappointed. I smiled, I said, I can understand. When you eat a slice of bread, it can be out of your body in 24 hours, but the effect can remain for up to two months, or sometimes for at least two months. He emailed me exactly six weeks later, so that's two months after he began. He said, my skin is clear. There's not a mark on my skin. The crocodile skin at the back of my neck he said, it's gone. They were so excited. They said, we did not believe this possible. Our specialist told us we would, and he said, I would never be free of it. He said, my specialist children have eczema. These skin diseases are an allergy. The allergy can be to chemicals. It can be to mold. And food certainly plays a part, as this young man discovered. There is hope for people with eczema and psoriasis. But something to remember is, Galatians 6 verse 9, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap if we faint not. Keep at it. Don't give up. You will get results.